Good morning, everybody. This is Richard Bernhardt. I'm with Streetwave Wireless. We're located in San Jose, California, and we're pleased to present another edition of Streetwave Wireless's webinars. Today, we're going to be offering you um, information, backgrounds, and projects to do with Legal Wave. Legal Wave was founded in 2007 as a manufacturer and developer of high-performance, versatile wireless solutions for wireless internet service providers and telecoms across the globe. This is an exciting company with up-to-date and interesting uh, products. Uh, they deal with backhaul, enterprise, and private networks, and rural connectivity, video surveillance, and broadcast. So what I'd like to do is go over a little bit about what StreetWave does. We're the distributor or a distributor for LegalWave. And then I'll introduce our two guests who will be presenting today for LegalWave to give you background on their products, their company, and their solutions. First off, StreetWave um, is, is an uh, international company, a company based in uh, the United States. We have three uh, distribution points in the United States, but we serve the whole U.S. Our headquarters are in San Jose, California. We have, had, we have distribution facilities in Utah and in Ohio. And we recently opened a, a distribution facility in Curitiba, Brazil, so we are now focused on global distribution as well. We handle both the licensed and unlicensed spectrum of products and are focused on wireless broadband products. That's our main focus. We have product line expertise. And as you might find for Legal Wave, we're trained in Legal Wave and certified with Legal Wave. And we're a value added distributor of wireless broadband equipment. At any time, if you have questions about the information that you hear on this uh, webinar or about any wireless broadband products, you're welcome to give us a call at 888 604 5234, or see us on the web at http colon backslash backslash www.streakwave.com. At streakwave.com, you can see all of the Legal Wave products that you're going to hear discussed today, and you can call our service number that I just mentioned to get any information from our trained personnel about any questions that you might have. If you could uh, go to the next slide, I'll give you a little more information. StreetWave is a, a full-service distributor, so we do all kinds of things, including adding uh, knowledgeable account managers, which have uh, extensive training in RF. Uh, we can provide you with a path analysis and calculation. We do that for free. So if you have questions about where you can and can't use wireless broadband equipment, you can give us a call, and we can help you with that. Our ordering is both through the web and by our sales representatives, so it's very easy. And as I indicated earlier, we have three warehouses in the United States and one abroad. So you can get your product usually in two or three days, no matter what you need, assuming it's an in-stock product. Um, we are a stocking distributor, so we keep products and accessories in stock. And we try and facilitate all of the needs that you have, including licensing for your particular needs, if licensing is required. You go to the next page. Um, we are a project and applications-based company, which means that we try and entertain whatever specific needs or projects you're working on, things like enterprise, education, government, hospitality, healthcare, security, and much more, including things that are done by service providers. And we also work with, uh, with value-added resellers and with other distributors and with systems integrators. We're here to help you in any way we can. And part of what we offer is our fantastic line of vendors. Today, I'd like to introduce Legal Wave. We have two wonderful people from Legal Wave here to talk to you about their line of products and also their specialties. I'd like to introduce Caleb Nauer. Caleb is the Director of Sales and Support for Legal Wave, and he'll be running through the presentation today. And along with him, we have Jim Campbell, Director of Operations for Legal Wave. The two of them have a strong understanding of the products that you'll be seeing. There is a question uh, port on the little box that's on your screen. If you ha would like to ask questions, we ask that you type them in throughout the presentation. I will keep track of them. When they've gone through their presentation at the end, we will be glad to do a Q&A. If perchance we don't get your question, um, we'll take it down. We have your email, and we will email back to you. Or preferably, if you have a, a telephone number, we will call you and make sure that you get an answer to any questions that you might have. Or you're always welcome to call StreetWave and talk to one of our personnel if you have questions about that. So it's with great pleasure that I introduce Caleb Nauer and let him get on with this presentation about Legal Wave. Welcome, Caleb. All right, everybody. How's it going? Just want to make sure you can hear me OK. We can Richard, hear you just we're coming fine. through? All right. Yep. 
Well, we'll go ahead and get started then. So today's webinar is about our current products that we're using, our upcoming products, and a little bit of a roadmap. Our WNMS system, which is our network management system, and also our link calc application, which do link planning and uh, calculations. So which I just ran through here. Um, just a little bit of an intro, like Richard said, I've been working for Legal Wave since uh, we launched the brand in 2007. Been doing wireless activities for about 10 years now, back in the hacking wet 11 days and doing uh, questionable things with Tupperware back in the day. So I've been doing this for a little while. I do primarily pre-sale support and post-sale technical support. Now, the first product I'd like to discuss is our current line, which is our first generation point-to-point -point products. And these are the products where a lot of people are familiar with. We've been shipping these since roughly the beginning of 2008 and so. What we use is our proprietary WJET protocol. And what this is is our TDD-based system. Um, it's what we call the protocols that we use to do our block aggregations. Um, that really cuts down your latency, increases your speed, and um, provides higher packet per second count than standard Wi-Fi types of products. So we have a number of bands that we cover, 900 megahertz, 2.4, 3 gigahertz, both the US 365 light license version and the 3.5 international versions. And of course, our most common product which is our 5 gigahertz solution. Um, we have flexible radio bandwidth, so depending on the band, you can use 5, 10, 20, or 40 megahertz channels. Typically, 40 megahertz is only for use in the 5 gig band. Using a 40 megahertz channel, that's giving us up to 70 megs of real TCP throughput, like real Ethernet data throughput. If you were using the 20 megahertz, like uh, on 900 or 365, then the 20 megahertz channel will give you about 40 megs of real throughput. So a lot of high throughput, and that's an aggregate speed. So there's a combination of up and down, and the allocation of the upload and the download is based on demand. So it's not like a fixed 2020 or 3535. It's based on demand, and it updates with every packet transition. So your traditional WIS links are usually more heavily weighted in one direction. So if your link needs to do 30 and 10, it'll do that automatically. If the demand is bidirectional equal, it'll do 2020 or 5 and 35, just whatever the link demands. It automatically does that for you. We have very high transmit power for the line and the bands, really high receive sensitivity as well. So this gives us the ability to run some long distance links. Um, I've had my hands on a number of 45, 50 mile links. Runs really well, assume as, you know, assuming that you're using the right antenna setup, of course. Uh, we have excellent packet per second count, up to 50,000 packets per second. That's really important when you're doing things like a lot of VoIP traffic or something that's passed on a large amount of very small packets. A packet per second count really comes into play. And this is an area where our proprietary WJET system sort of really shines over than you know, 802.11a or N or something like that. Because instead of maxing out at five or 6,000 packets per second and getting a lot of patchy latency and jitter when you're using like a voiceover system or something like that, this will just blow right through there and will allow you to really pump a lot of that small packet data through the system. This protocol also allows for low packet latency, of course, um, and that is also relied or tied into the high packet per second count. Not only are we able to pro plow through a bunch of small packets, we do it with really low latency, which is really important for these types of operations. We have a proven operating system. The core of this operating system has been in development since about four years now we've been working on this core and constantly adding and upgrading but the base selection has been in use for a long time and it's been able to allow us to launch for more updates and releases and stuff without having to do a whole ton of betas and you know step releases every week or something like that we're able to release in a control sort of manner which is really important for professional list operators we have our flex based GUI system it's a really advanced type of GUI layout and there's a lot of neat stuff it does in there, like, um, of course, all your statistics and all that you know, fun stuff. SNMP, but it's got a lot of different graphs. You can graph traffic throughputs, RSSIs over time, and all that. And it's a good way to give you a, a quick glance to see how the system's doing. It also has a number of built-in link test tools that gives you packet count throughputs for a bunch of different packet sizes, which is, allows you, again, to give you an in-band sort of a test system to see how your system is running. We have a centralized management and monitoring system, 
which is WNOS. We'll get to that here in a little bit. Uh, of course, all these enclosures are IP67 compliant, really easy mounting setups. You can see the mounting articulating bracket and arm here on the two pictures to the side. Uh, you can do both a wall mount or your most common pipe mount up to six inches. So really gives you a lot of options in mounting there. Um, also with the easy to use Cat5 gland, it's a lot easier to use than a lot of other competitor systems in terms of plugging it up, water sealing it, so on and so forth. There's a couple of different levels of built-in surge protection, mainly the PoE surge protection on the inside, the standalone shock board, which allows you to protect your system from transient spikes or ESD coming up your PoE line. And it also means that if you do get a heavy surge, lightning strike or something that hits your tower, that surge protector acts as a small sacrificial type of board where it'll burn out and still leave all the really expensive parts protected. So, you know, if you do get a strike, the repair cost is going to be a lot less to just swap out that small component versus going through and having to replace all the intelligent guts behind it. Really helpful and it's just something that, you know, makes repairs and that sort of stuff easier for the customer. And the link planning tool, we'll get more of that in details, but it actually has all the specs and whatnot for these products built into it. So we've been shipping, like I said, that previous generation we've been shipping for several years now. Um, at the very beginning of this year, we actually started shipping our next line, which is our MIMO product. Uh, this is a 2x2 two two MIMO, so you're using both the horizontal and vertical polarities at the same time. Um, again, it has our WJET underpinning, so not only are you getting the additional benefit of a, a true MIMO system and using both polarities at the same time, we're also adding on all of our custom timing and uh, block act protocols and stuff like that that makes it even faster than a lot of the commodity type end products that are out there. We have uh, channel bandwidth selections right now are 20 and 40 megahertz. On a 40 megahertz channel, you're getting about 180 megs of real throughput. The max you're going to get in one direction is 100 megs just because we're using FASTE data ports. So if you're totally maxing out, you'll get about 95 in one way and 85 the other, give or take, or 180, just depending on what you've got it plugged into on the Ethernet side. Uh, again, high transfer power, good receive sensitivity. We've actually run some of these links up to 75 miles recently. At 75 miles, we're still pulling about 40 megs through it. So that's just sort of a testament of the, uh, the proprietary things we've done to these systems to make them run a lot further than what you could do with other types of gear good packet per second count up to 35k and most of the other features like the GUI is similar but not exactly the same but it's got all the same features and stuff like that just a little bit of a different layout protocols now one thing I would like to point out as well is I don't know if you can see my mouse but over here you'll have this uh, little panel here on the side that's our exterior OLED or organic LED display and I've actually got a little video here theoretically Come on. This takes just a second to load. But you can see here, this is a little panel on the side. And while the unit is loading and booting up, it'll display you know, pretty basic info, just telling you that it's booting up. Uh, once it gets done, you'll get this welcome message here. And you'll be presented with the main screen. And what you do is you hold down the unlock button, and that'll give you access to all the menus. And you can put a pin code in here. That'll make it safe, so you protect it with a code to lock it. You'll see we've got a lot of options here. You can reboot the unit, reset it to default, uh, link test, which is the actual bandwidth test that it runs across it. You can set all the parameters there. Uh, you can do the antenna alignment, which is really handy when you're up on the pole waggling around, especially on the integrated units, 523 with a built-in antenna. Allows you to aim that and um, get it done without having to rely on the laptop to do the dialing. Uh, also handy are all these stats on the side. If you set one up and then threw it on the shelf for six months, forgot about it, and go to use it, you can see what the IPs are. You can actually reset it to the defaults here. Really makes management and stuff a lot easier. So, you know, it's, it's a shiny piece of kit, and it's good for presentations and stuff, and for these simple sort of things like that. You can see an example. Here's the link test here. This link is pulling 114 megs, one direction. So good information out of the 2048-byte packets. These are big packet transfers I was doing on this little example. But again, just some more things to make installation for the customer easier and to allow you to go about your day. 
So that's your typical unlicensed stuff. We actually have another